Welcome back, Nerd Squad, to Top 10 Nerd. I'm your host, Johnny Rogers. And if you happen to be new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our newest content. Plus, let us know down in the comments if you think Marvel should bring some zombies into the cinematic universe. I mean, how great would that be? Now let's jump into today's list of the Top 10 Superhero Zombies. In at number 10, Luke Cage. Not too much is known about what Luke Cage was up to before the zombie apocalypse struck the planet. He was, however, in the Avengers Mansion when the ash burst through the front doors as he ranted about an army of the dead. The Avengers were responding to reports of the sentry attacking citizens in the downtown core, and when the team arrived, they were quickly overpowered. Cage was then bitten, becoming infected with the zombie contagion, thus turning as well on the general population. In at number 9, The Hulk. It's still unclear about the exact moment that Bruce Banner became infected with the zombie plague, but what we do know is that he was working with Nick Fury aboard the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier. It's possible that the moment took place when Mr. Fantastic infected the Fantastic Four, resulting in a rampage through the ship. This is a pivotal moment that would have infected the entire helicarrier. Now in his zombie Hulk form, he went on to commit heinous acts, which included eating the Silver Surfer and Galactus. In at number 8, Wolverine. Also known as James Howlett, at the time of his zombification, he was at the Xavier Institute where he and the X-Men were battling against the Alpha Fight zombies when Magneto, of all people, showed up to help. Along with Magneto, they fled the area to join the resistance with Nick Fury against this new worldly threat by the undead. Nick told them that it was the end of the world and that everyone that wasn't a zombie is now on the same side, regardless of their history. Wolverine, though, became part of the ground operation team and tried to tackle the zombie threat head on, but was bitten in action after being overwhelmed. In at number 7, Fantastic Four. This one is a messy one for sure. While the Fantastic Four were out and about doing their thing to fight the good fight against the zombies, they come back after a hard day's work to find a zombified She-Hulk eating Sue and Reed's children. Sue was so angry that she straight up blew off She-Hulk's head with her force field, utterly shocking the team. While the surface team is going back to war, the Fantastic Four stayed back on S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier and the team became infected with the contagion while Reed Richards was working working on the remains of a zombie. He became so fascinated by the virtues of zombification, and as he was explaining it to the team, he pricked their skin, infecting them without their knowledge. The rest of the Fantastic Four then turned into zombies, biting Reed while he laughed for some reason? Talk about sicko mode. In at number 6, Captain America. Well. Colonel America. He too was at the Avengers Mansion when the Ash burst in talking about the army of the dead. Landing on the site of where Purple Lightning and Sentry were attacking citizens, he too was quickly overpowered by the Horde, becoming infected and turning into a zombie. When he then turned on the citizens, Spider-Man swept in to rescue a woman, but before they could get away, Colonel America leaped into the air and bit Peter on the shoulder, turning him as well. In at number 5, Black Panther. While T'Challa was helping Giant Man back to his lab, he noticed that Dr. Pym had been bitten. Knowing that he may be escorting the man into his own trap, he questioned Pym about the bite. Before he could act though, Giant Man grows in size and knocks out the Black Panther. When he regains consciousness, he's missing the majority of his right arm, and he noticed that his leg was almost completely missing. He then saw the head of the wasp still animated somehow, so he pleaded with the wasp to help him get out. He then rigged together a crutch to walk his way out as he carried the severed head of the the wasp to his escape. In at number 4, Deadpool. No one knows when the Merc with the mouth got bit. However, when he did, we got to see a brutal attack on the unsuspecting Silver Surfer. And after being attacked by Wondar the Aquarian, he was now reduced to just his head. Yet somehow he still managed to escape the armor headquarters. He then used the headquarters teleportation device to reach the bottom of the sea where he then went on to infect all of the menfish. In at number 3, Iron Man. As one of the Avengers, he too was at the mansion during the intruder's entry that prompted the team to scope out the reports of citizens being attacked. However, Stark was one of the few that actually stayed back at the Avengers Mansion. Then, getting the call from Nick Fury, he hurried to the S.H.I.E.L.D. helicarrier to show Nick about a new teleportation device that he was working on. He explained that if they could somehow get the device into another dimension, they could teleport themselves out of this reality entirely. And at that moment though, the now zombified Fantastic Four charged into the lab attacking Tony while he was without his Iron Man armor. In 
number two, Spider-Man. While the friendly neighborhood Spider-Man was swinging through the streets of New York, he spotted the Avengers fighting with Ash Williams, who was holding not just a shotgun, but a chainsaw and a shotgun. As he swung in to lend some assistance, Colonel America asked Spidey to wrap Ash up in webs and take him out of the situation. He did just that, except while swinging with Ash, he began recounting to Spider-Man about his incredible journey from the gates of heaven. That's when Peter noticed Sentry infecting the Avengers, and before he could escape, he too was bitten. Lastly in our number one spot, Giant Man. At one point or another, poor Hank Pym was zombified by his own wife, Janet Van Dyne. Quickly realizing that he was now transforming into this inevitable human flesh hungry state, he lured Black Panther to his lap. And after T'Challa confronted him, like I mentioned before, he knocked him out and secured him to a workbench. Pym then traveled to the Avengers mansion to find the team chewing on the body of Jarvis. And when he met up with Beast and Reed Richards, they had found some large stash of meat. Except for some reason, Hank decided to show up in his yellow jacket costume. I don't know why. But when he returned to New York, he slowly began cutting off the Black Panther's limbs to feed and control himself. Seems like a lack of control to me. And that has been the top 10 superhero zombies. Thank you so much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, then show us some love by hitting that like and subscribe button. Plus, don't forget to leave us a comment down below with your thoughts on this list. Also, if you want any more videos like this one, all you have to do is click that playlist on your screen. From Top 10 Nerd, I'm Johnny Rogers. Until next time, take care.